Yo, welcome back guys to a another um, not so live single battle. I did a um, load of single battles between this and the last um, live VGC battle uh, and I managed to get a somewhat decent one so yeah here it is. As you can see my team is Skamor... Scar I don't know, I think it's pronounced Skam Skarmory but I like to pronounce it Skamori. <laughs> anyway, um, Pinsir holding its Mega Stones and Mega Pinsir Glade, Metagross, Janisect, and Blissey. His team being Porygon 2. The uh, Meowth. <laughs> I forgot his name for a second there. Um, Tornadus in its Furian form? I think that's its Furian form. Yeah, its other form's called Incarnate, isn't it? I might get that mixed around anyway. Chestnut, Blazerkin, and Floatzel. I know he's. Um, Blazerkin is Ubers. But I don't really have a problem with people using Blaziken because I don't really s see it at being as amazing as people make it out to be. I don't, honestly don't know why it's in Ubers that much because it's not really that overpowered. Anyway, so let's get into the battle. Bam, bam, bam. Jack is issuing a challenge. Yeah, Jack is one of my uh, Wi-Fi friends, anyway. So I start things off with Skarmory, and he starts things off with Float. So he goes straight out of the waterfall. And Skarmory eats it up like it's nothing. I set up um, Stealthy Rocks. I'm not sure how many people actually know this, but um, Skarmory can actually learn Stealth Rocks as an egg move now, so... Yeah. Anyway, he goes out for the Aqua Jet, does nothing. I just... I poison it. My scum Skarmory actually knows absolutely no attacking moves, so if it gets taunted, I actually have to use Struggle. So, that's his only way of dealing damage is to poison and then roar through the team with Stealth Rocks. Anyway, so he switches out, I go straight for the roar. <laughs> so his switch out was completely pointless. <laughs> All it did was give him more damage. Anyway, he downloads and raises the special attack, doesn't matter, because I just roar him straight out. I need to give my Skarmory a nickname, but I'll sort it out another time. Anyway, so he set it gets switched out to his um his Theodore, his chestnut. Yeah, he's spiky shield. I use um he's always British for me to use something like Brave Bird, but as I said, Sk Skarmory doesn't know it. So I go straight after the toxic and poison the chestnut. Wah! Chestnut being obviously a very bulky Pokemon, it um you know, it's used to wool stuff. So poisoning it is a, not very nice for it. Anyway, it goes to Leech Seed. I, it get, it, I luckily it misses, but it doesn't matter because I was going to switch out anyway. I send out Galade! And he, he switches out as well, so yeah. And he switches into Porygon 2. Now here I predict him to go for the switch, because obviously Porygon 2 would happily get one, easily get one-shotted by a Galade. Plus its attack won't do much against Gallade, so he switches out, I predict it. So I go for the Psycho Cut. On his Tornadus. Now this is the same Gallade I used against Harry in the, um, Aegis League versus the, uh, the earlier, so that, that, um, Psycho Cut should have already created. Anyway, so yeah, I got the Shadow, I sh finish it off with Shadow Sneak, so Tornadus does absolutely nothing in that battle. Yay. And he switches out to his KFC, his Blaziken. Now here, it's obviously going to Mega Evolve and use Protect to um, get the speed boost, so I go for the Psycho Cut anyway. Because Gallade knows no, um, like, status raising moves, they're all attacking moves. So yeah. So I go for the Psycho Cut. Now I wasn't sure whether he was going to have Brave Bird or not. Not, not all Blazikins have Brave Bird, so I wasn't sure whether he was going to have Brave Bird or not. He does have Brave Bird, so he uses it and yeah, down goes Gallade. <laughs> Gladiator. But he did good, he knocked out Tornadus very nicely. And he takes a load from that recall. Now here I um, send out Skamori as a sacrifice so I can get um, more damage on that thing through recoil. I predicted it was going to have Flare Blitz because not many would have Blaze Kick really. Flare Blitz is a much better choice, really. So I sacrificed Skamori just to get um, some more damage on that thing. So now I send out my pincer, my destroyer! Mwahaha! 
I go straight for the Mega Evolve Quick Attack because I'm, I'm just not taking any chances with that thing. I know I said that Blaze again not really a problem for me and I don't see why people think they're so overpowered but they're still pretty powerful. <laughs> so it does pose a big threat, especially to me because I like using a lot of steel types. So yeah. Anyway, he obviously sees the area like Quick Attack and is getting out of there. He switches into Chestnut here, I thought that was weird but as you can see, he actually takes the flying type area like boosted quick attack. And I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> I was really surprised he took that. I, mean, I know Chestnut are very bulky, especially in their physical defense, but still, that was very impressive. Anyway, so I was predicting to go for the spiky shield, I switch out to my sh awesome, beautiful, shiny Genesect. I get the download, boost my special attack. My Genesect is both special and physical attacking. It's not scarfed like most um, Genesect. As you can see, probably see, it's got the doused, wi doused, doused drive <laughs> in its thing. Anyway, so I, I was like, he's gonna die at the end of this turn anyway, there's not a lot he can do to me, so I actually go for the shift gear. This is the event Genesect, I got it um, by training with someone obviously, as you can see it's Japanese. And it is totally awesome, I love it so much. Anyway, so I go for the shift gear, double my speed and up my attack by 150. Yeah, 150%, you know, you know what I mean. And down goes Chasnaught to poison. Skarmory strikes from the dead. And he switches out to his KFC. Now, I'm obviously going to outspeed him, but he goes for the protect because he, he knows I'm going to outspeed him because I got the shift gear on. So I go for the um, water type Techno Blast. Now, Techno Blast, I'm not sure how many of you know this, but it's actually been raised to a power of 120 now, so it's a very good move now. It used to be only 85 power, but now it's 120. Anyway, I go for the extreme speed just in case he was faster than me and just knocked it out. Yeah. Anyway, so he switches into his Meow Stick, his. Psy Psyche, weird name. Anyway, he's obviously got the prankster, so he goes for the um, Thunder Wave and paralyzes Genesect. No. Because obviously Genesect is very fast and don't like paralysis. And he gets the, um, I don't know, Power Hacks, that's what it's called, Power Hacks. First turn, and then he gets another one. <laughs> so I'm just like, whatever, I'm going to go for the extreme speed. And it does a pretty decent amount, seeing as Meowstick are generally built to be quite bulky. Yeah, so I'll go for the second extreme speed and take it up. Ain't out prioritizing me, bruh. Ain't out prioritizing me. So he switches into his float fall again. His Razo. Hmm, winning. Now I go for the extreme speed because um, the other two moves it knows is Blaze Kick and Water Type Techno Blast, so literally extreme speed is the only fair thing to hit it with. He goes to the waterfall and takes that down a sec. Genesect did good. I, like, I really love Genesect. It's a really cool Pokemon. Especially that shiny one I got. I'm really happy about that. And I switch out to my Iron Mark 2. And just go straight for the Bullet Punch. Was, I reckon it was going to knock it out, even if it didn't, the Toxic would, so. Yeah. Iron Mark 2. Okay, so his last Pokemon was probably gone too. It's kind of shiny. Didn't notice that. Okay, so he gets the um, download and raises his yeah special attack. And my Metagross actually holds a um, assault vest, so its special defense is actually higher than its physical defense. But I don't think download takes that into account. Anyway, I go for the Meteor Mash and get an attack raise, which is quite lucky since it's only 10%. No, no, it's 20% chance. Yeah, anyway, still pretty lucky. Anyway, I go for the second Meteor Mash because he recovered himself, and it, yeah. He goes with this shot. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, game over. But yeah, I missed that meteor mash. And I think, yeah, he paralyzes me here. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm just go for the bullet punch. <laughs> I haven't fed up with this. I'm just gonna knock it out. Don't know why I didn't go for the bullet punch earlier, but. Oh well. What's done is done. I still won. Free Odin, I believe. Yeah, I didn't even get to use on my blessing. Yeah, didn't get to use Blissey. Yeah, well, anyway, thank you for watching. Like, um, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And leave a comment down below if you. No, I already said.
<laughs> I'm really tired, sorry. It's morning, I just got up and, yeah. Because I'm busy today, so I have to do this in the morning. Anyway, so yeah, thank you for watching. Do all that good stuff I said before, and I'll see you next time with some live VGC. Bye!